All right. I'm gonna take a little sippy sip. How am I supposed to clap for them when my life feels like it's in turmoil? We've all been there going through a tough time and then it seems like someone else's life is just thriving and we tell ourselves we need to clap for them, which we do, but really how do we cope with those feelings that we feel on the inside? Because even though we are expressing happiness and joy for someone else, how do we deal with those internal thoughts that lie in the space of our brain with all the questions? When is it gonna happen for me? What am I doing wrong? Those questions are totally valid and they're normal to feel, we're human. I always mention clap for others. I never mention that it is easier said than done. The questions that arise, when you feel like life is not going how it should be going for you, and then you see someone else out there winning, we don't see what that person has gone through, we just see the winning part, right? That person could have gone through so much before getting to where he or she is, but we still feel those feelings of jealousy. We don't even think about what that person went through to get to where they are right now. Today, I really wanna talk about how do we shift our perspective and how do we really cope with those feelings of uh, just jealousy and frustration of like, why we ain't there yet? Why are we not there? Acknowledge where you are. You might be at a low point, you might be at a midpoint, but if you just so happen to be at a spot where you're not feeling too hot, it's okay. You're gonna practice gratitude. You're gonna sit in your space and you're gonna think about all of your blessings, all of the things that you have. It's easy to put shine on all of the negative and completely forget about all of the great that has happened. Practice gratitude. Think about the things that you currently have. When you give recognition to the blessings in your life, big or small, once you realize how blessed you are, it becomes easier for you to realize that it can happen for you too. You may not know exactly what it is that they went through to get to where they are today, but you do see that beautiful outcome and you know how you're feeling at this moment. You feel like they're winning, right? You gotta use their success as motivation for your own success. In fact, I highly recommend you get around people that are thriving or that you perceive to be thriving. Once you get into conversation with those people, you'll also realize that they go through things as well. We all knock on doors and not all those doors open. Do yourself a favor and just stop comparing. Don't compare anybody's life to your own. You are not in competition with anybody else because we are all on a different path. We're all on a completely different journey. And if you haven't watched my previous video on pivoting, I'm gonna tag that down below in the description or in this video somewhere, but I highly recommend you watch that so you can understand that we are all on a different path. And once you learn that there's a path that's written for you and it's not gonna look like anybody else's, it gets better, it gets easier. Easier to clap for yourself and easier to clap for others. I encourage you to clap for yourself more. The big things, the little things, no matter how small of an accomplishment, give yourself a pat on the back. Next time someone in your circle is doing well for themselves, when you practice everything that I just explained to you, it gets so much easier, no matter what you're going through, to be able to clap for someone genuinely without those feelings of jealousy arising, without the need to compare why, without the need to question. Now, I'm gonna need you to give yourself grace even during the tough times and also understand that when you celebrate others, it's gonna light your fire. It's gonna spark up that pathway. That path that appears to be dark, the more you clap for others, the brighter that path looks because your turn is next. It's about to happen. Let's all be the type of people that can clap for others. When we lift our friends up, we rise too. And then we'd be a group of people just rocking out. Let's all practice gratitude for what we have done. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you're doing right now because I want to clap for you and everybody else wants to clap for you too. Big or small, maybe you aced your test. Maybe you signed up for something new. Maybe you're taking a new, a new, I don't know, yoga class. Maybe you're learning a new sport, a new craft. I don't know. Let me know what you're doing. Did you sign up for that pottery class that you've always wanted to take? I don't know. 
Comment down below. Let me know what you're doing so I can clap for you. So we all can clap for you. Until next time, I wish you nothing but peace and love. Bye.